Hi, my name is Mark Banks and I'm the owner of The Denture Clinic and I wanted to let you know seven things you should not do to your denture. And the first thing you should never do is clean your denture with bleach. Yes, we've heard it before. It's an old wives tale that's been around for decades and decades. But cleaning your denture with bleach is not ideal. The dentures are not made for this. They're not designed to be cleaned with such a harsh chemical. Now, cleaning with bleach will do several things. It'll actually change the color of the material, but also the chlorine inside the bleach can rust the metal components, such as the metal bars and the metal clips that hold onto your teeth. So you can see that there's really not much positive to bleach, but there's a lot of negatives. So the first tip is don't use bleach. Tip number two on things you should never do to your dentures is clean them in boiling water. And I know it sounds crazy, but I've actually over the years seen several people do this. Now, yes, generally boiling will kill off all the chemicals and give things a clean, but in dentures, it actually has a huge impact. What it does is it distorts the denture. So your denture will one day be fitting, you boil it, it will then come out of the water and it will be warped and distorted. And basically the denture is now rendered useless. So we don't want to use bleach and we don't want to use hot water. Just a cold or a mildly warm water and soap to clean is all that we need and that's more than enough. Tip number three to seven things you shouldn't do to your denture, dishwashers. Now dishwashers are made to wash dishes, not the dentures. The, the huge heat inside the chamber of a dishwasher, the hot water, these things are not meant to be around dentures. It's too much, it's going too far, and it's gonna warp your denture. It's like a bowl of hot water. The steam and all those type of things are only gonna do negative effects. So don't use a dishwasher, please, please, please. Okay, tip number four on seven things you should do to your denture. Using sharp objects to clean the denture. Now I've seen this happen a few times. People will find something sharp like the end of a knife, a flathead screwdriver even, a Stanley blade, and they'll be scratching out, trying to get rid of the plaque on the denture. Now what that does is, it takes away the highly polished surface. Now once you do that, you then actually create an environment where rough, a rough area has been created. Now, this is going to be a magnet for things like plaque. Plaque will slide off the shiny material, but when it's roughened, it's now abrasive and the plaque has something to grip onto. So don't use anything sharp. All that we need to clean the denture is a toothbrush and water, and that's it. A little bit of soapy water, I should say. If you do find you're getting plaque build up and a lot of staining, there's other things you can try, such as denture cleaning tablets, or you can also drop the dentures off to your denture specialist, a prosthetist, and they can clean them with their tools, their design machines that won't do the dentures any harm. So no sharp objects, please. Okay, tip number five to things you shouldn't do to your denture, and that is using powerful abrasive cleaning agents. Things that belong in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the laundry. These things are designed to be getting rid of things like mold and residue, not things like food and plaque. So don't be, don't be using those things on your denture. And we don't also know the side effects. We don't know what those chemicals contain. And the fact is that they could still be around even after you thought you've given them a rinse. Then you place them in your mouth. Well, if you have a sensitive body, if you are sensitive to chemicals and things like that, you could do yourself a world of harm. So no powerful chemicals. If it's from Bunnings or Woolworths or things like that, it's not meant for dentures. The best thing, soapy water and toothpaste. Tip number six, the things that you shouldn't do to your dentures. And actually, this is something that you should do. And you should be looking after the dentures. So the tip is don't neglect them. And what do I mean by neglect? Don't go two, three, four days without brushing your teeth. Don't be eating every food under the sun, such as cold chocolate, really crusty breads, biting into chicken bones, because these things are gonna destroy your denture. We wanna make sure we get in a good cleaning routine. Now, at a minimum, we wanna clean them once a day. 
So you take your teeth out at night, give them a brush, place them back in and go to bed. Or you can sleep with, them in, with the dentures in a glass of water. But a minimum of once a day, two times is better, three times, well that's perfect. I know we can't all get to the bathroom and brush them three times, so once at the end of the day is generally more than enough. But a good routine means do it every single day so your denture doesn't start to grow plaque, just like natural teeth can. So by looking after them, you're gonna save yourself money in the long run because it's gonna ensure that your denture keeps performing to the best of its ability. Okay, tip number seven on things you shouldn't do to your denture. Eat every food under the sun. I've just touched on it, but we don't wanna be thinking that teeth dentures replace our natural teeth because the fact is they don't. Did you know that dentures are only 30% as solid as your real teeth? 30%, that's not a very high number. So when we lose our natural teeth and we transition to dentures, we have to make changes to our eating habits and our diet. Dentures are not going to be able to bite the things that you once could. Yes, you might try and attempt that, but ultimately, if you're not going to know how to use your dentures properly, you're going to cause your gums pain, sores, ulcers, or worse, you're going to break the dentures in half and you're going to need to get repairs. It can be a costly exercise. By simply trying to avoid things like crusty breads, things with bones in them like chicken wings, uh, cold chocolates, hard nuts, uh, definitely nuts is a, a no-no if you have to bite them and crack them open. These foods are gonna break your dentures, they're gonna split the base in half, they're gonna crack the teeth or, or do little chips on the teeth, and ideally, it's not what we want. So by changing your eating habits, you can definitely prolong the life of your denture. So there you have it. There's the seven things, seven tips on things you shouldn't do with your dentures. Of course there's more, but these are the ones that I see popping up the most often. So I hope that's given you a lot of value. Thank you for listening and until next time, keep smiling.